So after a long day touring New York City, I, I feel like I'm a local. I literally need to take Advil yeah. because my leg hurts so much. Like we have been walking since what? Like 11 a.m. and now it's 7:30 p.m. But we're gonna go get some Korean barbecue. And so. Naz decided to take the car, so, so Todd doesn't have to walk. No more walking <laughs> till tomorrow. <laughs> till tomorrow. To end about like 12 hours, we're gonna start walking again. So it's gonna be nice to get some Korean barbecue. I haven't had Korean barbecue since I left Korea. Me too, since we left Korea. So hopefully they have soju. You guys don't decide yet. We haven't decided. We haven't decided. So who's gonna win the rock, paper, scissors to decide who takes us? I think we should talk about this. I think we should talk about this. Because he always loses. <laughs> which one which one is more authentic to you? They're both, both are. Do they both have soju? They both have soju. Okay. Do they both have unlimited kimchi? They both have. Well, I mean, either way, we'll pay for your kimchi time. <laughs> Which one do you sit on the ground and cross your feet? Uh, neither of them. Okay, well. We should go to Big John. Big John. Big John. We should go to Jungle. We have made it here to the Korean barbecue down in K Town, so we're gonna grab something to eat real quick. You go there and you'll feel like you're in Seoul. You can just get this authentic Korean feeling of cooking on the barbecue and enjoy unlimited veggies. <laughs> so these are panchan, which is the side dishes that differ from restaurant to restaurant. Normally, panchan will be served before the main course, but that doesn't mean that they are an appetizer at all. They are meant to be sampled throughout the meals. It's mainly different varieties of kimchi, for example, and other assorted veggies. The beautiful part is it goes together very well with hot meat, and if you finish that tiny portion, you can even ask for more, and that is totally free. That will bring you as much as you can handle. Hey, you're not touched the side, it's very hot. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. I don't even know that we have enough space now. Another table for you. <laughs> I'm blowing right now. I'm okay. I kept thinking about food and kimchi. Let me ask you this question. What kind of restaurant makes customers cook their own food? Well, Korean ones. Of course, there will be a grilling plate in the middle of the table. You order the meat, and they will turn on the fire. Then they place the meat in the grill and leave it there. Normally, you have to grill it by your own, but we are fortunate that it is not that busy at the time we went, so the server helped us and grilled the entire thing of meat for us. I tell you, don't forget to film, you're like... <laughs> Normally, the choice of barbecue is either beef or pork. If you love beef, the most popular choice is galbi, which is a marinated beef short rib. It is considered a prime beef cut, typically marinated in soy sauce base. But if you love pork, a Korean classic is a three-layer pork belly, and it is really famous and the classic option to go for. You done wrap it, anything? And how do you like it? You done dip it, anything? I give it a little bit of salt. I personally love wrapping things. So Jimmy gonna eat like Korean style. Jimmy gonna wrap. Let's use Jimmy as an example. Basically, traditional Korean restaurants will usually provide a basket of lettuce and to eat Korean barbecue like Koreans basically you pick the leaf of lettuce put on your palm then you simply add a piece of meat together with all the veggies side dish into it with a bit of whatever sauce and seasoning that they gave you earlier oh you want that, a little bit of that? Ooh. a little bit Then you wrap everything up. And then put it in your mouth and enjoy the Korean barbecue. You gotta know what's up. You're more Korean than I am. I've <laughs> been dying to have it. Right? Right. You like
like it. Everything combined together is awesome, right? It's awesome. You wanna do bombs? Yeah, I haven't done those since I was a I'll do a bomb with you. I don't know how we're gonna feel when we're done. Okay, all right. This is the way to drink like a Korean. Normally, there's some main basic alcohol options when it comes to drinking at your Korean barbecue. It's either soju or the Korean light beer. So let me tell you about a soju bomb. These are amazing. Which is when you drop a shot of soju into a glass filled with about 50 to 70% beer. It's dangerous. I know. But when the restaurant runs out of shot glasses, this is simply what you can do. Look at that, that's how you do it. Yeah, now you gotta drink it. I'll do, oh, is that the Japanese way? together with like dipping sauces and stuff and they just went extra hard. <laughs> so like normally how it's supposed to go is like you use the chopstick and you just mix it by yourself. But they go out of their way completely. More fun that way. Like a right? neon nice show here. <laughs> And, and you guys, like you guys, are younger than me, but I'll just do it for an example. Like, you, you pour drinks for people that are older than you, and you can't, you, you do it, and you can't make eye contact, and you can't let their drink go empty. So you have to. After three rounds of Korean barbecue, we are super, super full, and of course Daniel says he's not done yet, so we're at. Of course, he's a Korean. <laughs> Mad. Bad for chicken, <laughs> which is another Korean chicken beer place. Chicken is like something that South Korean people go for when they want to have beer. <coughs> beer. <laughs> they always go for chicken. It's the only couple I know that we go to eat, go out to dinner, and then leave and go to dinner again. So <laughs> we're gonna get Korean fried chicken and beer now. <laughs> Ta said she missed Korea. Like no, well, like she I... met the only South Korean person that okay. we're friends with, and we're getting real Korean tonight. I feel like I'm never going there again. Yeah. <laughs> I've had so Korea. much Korean. Yeah. Most of the time you get like chicken that's fried mm -hmm. and then you get like sauce on top of it and it makes it like super wet and like damp because you have so much sauce on it but this is like the sauce is like cooked into the chicken while it's like extra crispy. I know why Koreans love beer and chicken. It's a marriage. It's so good. That's cool. Oh, so okay, you're gonna go to <laughs> <laughs> <It's> so romantic. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Uh...